Hello YouTube, this is me, Mountain Man. Today's review is over, believe it or not, a Flash game called Dolphin Olympics 2. Let's get into it. Now, a forewarning. This game, I had to speed up times two in order to get enough footage to fit in here. I got so carried away in, in my recording that I recorded 12 minutes of it. Yeah, it's that fun. But is it a good game overall? Let's find out. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the sound for this recording, but don't worry, for the sound is mostly stock anyway. This game is your basic score masher. I mean, there's nothing really advanced about it. I mean, you get combos, you and you get special achievements. Well, not really achievements, but more like, you know, special bonuses, I guess. They also have a bunch of records, a bunch of, you know, like, tail slides you can get, or combos, or how high you can get. But enough with the gameplay. Let's get into the aesthetics. Don't worry, I'll get into greater detail later. Well, at least concerning the gameplay. The aesthetics of the game get the job done. They're not too advanced, but they're not crude. The game is also very, very unique in the fact that you can go up to the moon, you can see Mars, you can star slide. That's amazing, by the way. I mean, these unique features do add to the gameplay quite a bit. But you're gonna have to trust me on this one since I did not get enough footage to get that far. In fact, ironically, the moment I stopped recording is the moment I got 4 million points. Let's talk about the combos. There's backflips, there's frontside rewinds, there's backside rewinds, there's front flips, there's carnival, which I have no idea how to do, by the way. And even corkscrewing. Combining all these things together can get quite a fun time. Even get plenty of points. But there's one thing I forgot to mention. The nice entry. The nice entry is essentially when you go up in the air and then you go back down in a good position. When you do this, you get a nice speed bonus, which you need in order to do the advanced combos in the game later on. There's even a mode where you can practice. It's somewhat cleverly called Free Swim. The only part I really don't like about this game is the fact that you can't keep track of what you're doing, in the sense that it doesn't tell you when you make a combo or something. Overall, this game is cool, unique, and a bit fun. Scratch that, a lot fun. But as previously stated before, the sound is a bit weird. As in, stock. That combined with the okay graphics give this game a 7.5 out of 10. Now before I go, I have to mention, my rating is not alone based on the graphics or the sound. The gameplay itself is a bit monotonous, I forgot to mention that. But just make it clear that I'm not a graphics snob. Finally, you can find this game at several places, but I found it at New Study Hall. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.